to keep yourself updated subscribe to indigo learn and click the bell icon friends today we are going to discuss about this beautiful chapter called as partnership accounts now what is the meaning of partnership let us first imagine you and i are in same class we went to same school and uh, one fine day we thought hey why don't we start partnership and then you said what why do we need to start a partnership i said okay let's do business together let us set up a coffee shop okay so i said let's set up a coffee shop we said oh wonderful i always wanted to start a coffee shop so let's start a partnership and set up a coffee shop that's what you and i thought about now listen carefully you and i went to a chartered accountant and asked that person how do i start you know the process of partnership maybe the chartered accountant told us that hey first of all are you both the partners i said you know we said yes we are the partners then uh, the chartered accountant asked okay so who is bringing what kind of capital you said you are bringing some 5 lakhs i said i am also bringing 5 lakhs so that is the capital with which we are starting our partnership then the chartered accountant asked okay so who will do what so then i said okay i will be the one who will uh, you know make coffee and uh, get the coffee ready and you said you will be the one who will sit on the counter or maybe deliver coffee whatever okay so like this we explained our roles and responsibilities then that uh, chartered accountant asked us okay who will sign the checks who will have the power to open the bank account etc so then we looked at each other and i said you will only sign the checks i said you will only sign uh, the bank documents etc so we discussed about these and then the chartered accountant asked us okay so where do you want to start your partnership then we thought about it then we said let us start this in south mumbai and we gave a place as to where in south mumbai we want to start our uh, coffee shop so like this the place of partnership what kind of partnership then the chartered accountant asked us hey for how long do you want to do the partnership i thought about it you also thought about it we said we want to do it i mean for as long as we can i mean we don't have any specific time as to we want to do it only for one year or two years or three years so basically we entered into an unlimited partnership which does not have any restriction on the time frame it is also possible that you can say no no after three years i want to go for a job or i want to start uh, you know some other business so i want to do partnership only for this period is that possible yes absolutely possible so you can have a partnership without any limit on the period for which you want to partnership or you can do it you know for a specific period that is also ab absolutely acceptable but what is important is you should think through these so why do people break up in partnership why do people you know kind of become enemies after partnership if they don't understand what is expected from each other the real problem in relationships is expectation mismatch whether it is a business relationship or a personal relationship the main problem is about expectation mismatch what should you expect from me what should i expect from you if this is clear then comes the next thing whatever you are expecting from me as per our understanding am i doing or not and then whatever i am expecting from you from our understanding are you doing or not because once i say that this is the expectation expectation is matched and uh, we have done it then the chance of problems coming will come down right so see when you are thinking of partnership i don't think anybody should just jump in and say oh i sat with this person in the train and tomorrow i want to start a partnership no that is not the way you think about it you should start business only with such people where you have utmost trust utmost trust to such an extent that you can say this person will never 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 do anything which is against my interest that person will take care of my interest more than how i can take care of my interest only when you have this kind of confidence in a person you should start business with such person now the reason why i am saying this is well when you start a partnership which is a business you need to be sure that the other person is meeting all these because the roles and responsibilities the risks what come along with these businesses are huge for example a partner goes and signs an order with a customer for 10 crore rupees i'm just saying a partner say i went you and i are partners i went and signed a deal with a client for 10 crore rupees and agreement also clearly says that if we don't deliver what we are supposed to deliver that client can file a case against us for 1 crore rupees so like that there is a very clear agreement it's a time bound project and we signed that now you see you cannot say that you did not sign the agreement why you and i entered into partnership 
I signing agreement is as good as you signing agreement. Are you understanding the point? So that's the kind of thing. So what your actions I am accountable for. My actions you are accountable for. So how can I take responsibility for something that someone else does? Hari, you have to take responsibility. That is the whole point of partnership. So where I am saying I means we. We means basically you know uh, you know he means i i mean i means he so basically that's a kind of deep level of trust and legal bonding it is not just fun and all it is serious legal bonding what we have when we talk about partnership all right friends now after all these questions that child accountant said okay i will make a partnership deed and uh, you have to sign the partnership deed then we will file the partnership deed etc now he asked what is this filing partnership deed see we can have all these terms discussed. After that, if I don't have an agreement, is there a problem? Well, even an oral partnership is partnership. Understand that carefully. Even an oral partnership. See, we just discussed that we will start business. You know what? As per Partnership Act, the moment we both discuss and say, let's start business. And you also said, yes, let's start business. Partnership is considered to have started at that point. You understand? It is not when agreement is signed, etc. Partnership is considered to have started at the point where we discussed and said, let's start business together. Got it? So, now partnership already started. This agreement, signing, etc. is to make sure that the disputes on a future date don't come up or even if they come up, there is a way to refer to something because don't overestimate human memory. You don't really know what you ate three days ago. Oh, you might be saying, sir, I don't remember what I ate yesterday also. So, please understand, we can't overestimate our human memory. We would have spoken all of that, all, all terms at some frame of mind, some one year ago. Maybe one year later, I may say, that is not how I understood. You may say, oh, that is not, that is, I understood it like that only. So, these kind of things should be avoided. So, for that purpose, Generally, it is a good practice to have the partnership in writing. Okay. Now, but as I said, even oral partnership is perfectly legally acceptable. Even if there is no paper, it is still perfectly legally acceptable. Then this partnership, what is documented can be registered, registered with registrar of firms. Okay. So when it is registered with registrar of firms, then there will be a number allocated to that particular partnership. So, why do we need that registration for partnership? See, if there is no registration for partnership, if there is any dispute, how do we really establish this? We can't go to the court of law, etc. for uh, any settlement if there is no registered partnership. Okay, So, there are some points like this which come up. Also, uh, it will be difficult for outsiders, you know, if the partnership is not registered. Anyway, so... I, the broad point what you have to bear in mind, I don't want to focus too much on the legal aspects because such things you anyway learn as a part of your law curriculum. So what I will focus on more as a part of our discussion is about what are the money matters regarding partnership, how do you document those aspects and how do you make sure that you do accounting for those points in your uh, books of accounts. So those are the aspects what we learn as a part of this chapter. But just you have to bear in mind that partnership, when I say you in today's context, partnership has two broad categories, unlimited liability partnership, limited liability partnership. What is the meaning of unlimited liability partnership? Imagine you and I started business. I brought five lakhs, you brought five lakhs. Okay. Now, suddenly we realized that we messed up one order. We did a bad job and uh, the client is demanding pay me 25 lakhs. And say for some reason we have to pay 25 lakhs, but you brought money, I brought money, we used some portion for purchasing the machinery, some portion to run the shop, etc. And we have only 4 lakhs left in the shop. Now, if it is an unlimited liability partnership, you know what it means? Simply, you have to go home and find balance money from your rest of your resources. Maybe you have some other property, that property, sell off and bring money into business. Or you have some shares, sell off those shares and bring money into business. Like that, so your other wealth, other assets, other business, that risk also will get attached if it is an unlimited liability partnership. But what is a limited liability partnership? I brought 5 lakh rupees. The maximum risk is only that. If anything goes wrong in the business, 
to the extent of 5 lakhs, whatever I invested, I may lose it. But my other businesses or my other assets, other uh, uh, properties what I have, nothing will happen to them if this is a limited liability partnership. So, in uh, Limited Liability Partnership Act 2008, we got this and uh, this is really becoming more and more popular these days. Alright, great. So, this is a broad introduction to the concept of partnership. Friends, in a partnership, did understandably, you'll have all these things, date of the partnership, uh, terms of partnership, who are the partners, where, what is the address where the firm is uh, doing, what kind of business will the partnership do, what capital partners brought in, what is the profit sharing ratio. See, it is not necessary that just because we brought equal capital, both of us should have equal profit sharing. Maybe we decide and agree upon that you require 75% share in the partnership, I will have only 25% share, probably because you will be the one running the partnership. I am only investing money, but you are also adding the part of running the partnership. So, you might have greater share, possible, okay. Then, there can be salary for partners. There can be, uh, ca when capital can be introduced by partners, when capital is drawn, what are the conditions for drawing capital? That also you can have in the partnership. Then, interest on capital, you can probably take, that term also can be there. On drawings, what you make, there can be interest charged by the partnership. See. Interest on capital, interest on capital from partner point of view, say I invested money into partnership, I got interest on capital, it is an income for me. But think from the firm's point of view, interest on capital is more like a cost to the firm. Similarly, when I draw money, when I draw money, I need to pay interest. Okay, I am a partner, I drew money, I need to pay interest. So for me, it is a cost. But from firm's point of view, that is a benefit. Okay, so these are the different points what you get to see. So, in our CA foundation curriculum, what we will learn is basically about this introduction to partnership where we will largely talk about, you know, how the capital can be brought in, how you maintain capital accounts, there is something called fixed basis, fluctuating basis, how the profit sharing ratios can be agreed upon, how can the profit sharing ratios change later, how can you have a new partner joining the business, what kind of scenarios you have to think about. Then, can a partner who is doing business with us, can that partner retire from the partnership? So, basically, can that partner move out of partnership? And what should we do in the event of death of partner? So, these are the kind of things what we will learn as a part of our CA Foundation curriculum. Let's get started.